Hello and welcome back to our HIP Republic of Ireland campaign. In our last episode, we won our defensive war against England or Logris or whatever they were calling themselves. At the time, they're back to being England now. Um, so we got some money out of that and prestige and more importantly, didn't lose any of our trade posts in England. So we still have our control over uh, whichever sea zones it was that we would have lost, like uh, Land's End, for example. It still keeps our income pretty good from all of our trade posts, which is what we want. Uh, speaking of trade posts, maybe we should start spending some money on upgrading some of these. We do need to keep money around at the moment because there is a hotly contested fight for the next election, which probably won't happen in the very near future anyway, since we don't have any negative health traits unless gluttonous is, is a small health penalty. Maybe fertile is? No. But I think that's the only one we have. Um, so we shouldn't die anytime soon. And in fact, the main contender, Grand Mare Art of Oriel here, should die sooner than us, even if we don't succeed in our current plot to kill him, which actually is over 100%, so hopefully that will happen soon. But what we're waiting for at the moment is our truce with Tara to be over so that we can take another county from them. And that's about it, I think. Or more male family members to come of age so we can increase our trade post limits. Uh, or also get some trade practices technology, which increases it as well. Okay, the prosperity faction is back to being neutral. Which is good. Probably not going to return rebellious then. We have a commander title to give to somebody. We'll give it to Kahl, I suppose. Whoever he is. And we have raiders in Wicklow again. Let's just use our retinue to chase them out. We can probably do this since they're going to be at low morale. Definitely make sure that we have some commanders in there. Yep, very few casualties. Ambassador Grand Mayor Art, who hates us, is doing a superb job. I'm having trouble with a town and a castle in Dublin, and I shall of course send my ambassador try and increase the relation between them and us, but which should I, one should I start with? City Vassal Opinion or Feudal Vassal Opinion plus 25? In Dublin, I assume? Or we get it and it applies to all of our vassals. Because we don't have any city vassals in Dublin. We control all of the cities directly. I think it says we get the modifier, so it should apply to all of our vassals, therefore we should take the city vassal opinion since most of our vassals are city vassals. If not all of them. Yeah, so this applies to every single one of our vassals, I assume. Uh, perhaps not, though. Let's see, you're a city vassal as well. Possibly it does just apply in Dublin. Okay, trade war over Dublin. Between two of our patricians. Let's see how this is going to affect the ownership of the trade zone. So it was Oriel again, the Flavertes, who now have four trade posts since they just took Man from, I think it was whoever controls Dublin as well, the Umbricathers. So they have four trade posts. We have one, two, three, four, six. So this is going to give them five. So we'll still retain control over the trade zone and 
this is... Yeah, they're still over their limit, so they aren't going to be able to build anymore. Okay. So we're not going to lose control over this then. Uh, your mission to Connacht has been a success, okay. Grand Mayor of Connacht is now happier. Well, I guess we don't actually care about his opinion. Or uh, we don't need him to continue improving opinion there, is what I mean. So we should move him somewhere else. And our nephew also requires education. He's affectionate, willful, and haughty. Where the train fighter goes in between those, it should sort of be at the one side of them, I would have thought. But anyway. Uh, affectionate, willful, haughty. Probably not diplomatic. Marshall would be okay. Yeah, I guess we're going with... Marshall. Seems okay. Really would be nice if we could improve our stewardship at all from our focus. Maybe we'll switch to the business focus for a while. See if that does any better. Uh, oh, our ambassador says that he has convinced the Grand Mayor of Connacht to permit a meeting with the entirety of the Prosperity faction. Alright, including himself. Um, if we allow it, we'll attempt to gain their favour. So, 62% chance relations are improved, 29% chance of nothing, and 7% chance it's, wor it's worsened. Well, I like those odds. Let's go for it. Alright, it's improved, and we gain prestige. But they are content. It was supposed to be a peaceful, quick walk in your garden. Then you got stung by a group of angry bees. Well, um... 60% chance of no effect, 40% chance we, got, be, we become wounded. Let's hope that we don't get wounded. But we did. Wounded by bees. But a tithe in Dublin is very nice, okay. Uh, we are going to have to put some more money into the campaign fund for now. Let's also check on our plot. Any chance we can get anybody else in. If we can get one more person in, we may as well. And I think we can also afford to spend some money on some upgrades. Let's do trade posts, I suppose. Uh, particularly ones that have no upgrades since those are cheapest. And I don't know whether we get more money overall out of upgrading the tax income or the trade value, but I guess we'll stick with, her with tax income. Where we don't have that built already. I think we have a few of these upgraded from before. Don't want to go down below, say, a thousand gold, maybe? Well, I did just go down below a thousand gold, but let's stop there. England's revolt still going on. It was a revolt against the tyranny of the king, which I think will end up in him being deposed if he loses it. He's winning, though. It's 64% in his favor. Meanwhile, it's 1133, which means our truce with Tara is going to expire this year in May. Our nephew Aina wants a seat on the council. We're going to have to tell him no again. He keeps asking. And he still hasn't managed to have any children, which is a problem. It means our trade post limit isn't going to go up because of... Um, adult males in court as quickly as it should. There's no reason why he shouldn't be having children, though. It's like fertility bonus from Thrifty Clerk. 
she has no fertility penalties. Unless Shy is one? Kind of makes sense. Nope. Alright, our wound has healed. Raiders in Wicklow again. Oh, they're just leaving immediately? Okay, we'll just let them go then. Oh! Grandmare, Grandmare Art of Oriel has uh, taken it upon himself to chase them away. Has he finished his trade war? Uh, well, the trade post hasn't changed hands. No, he's still fighting it. 37% in his favor, okay. And yes, our truce is about to expire. Still haven't managed to convert this Canty from Fraticelli. I guess there might be fairly low moral authority, yeah. Largely because of the Antipope and some lost holy wars. So there's only a 7.5% chance yearly to convert that. There's probably quite a lot of heresy around then. Let's check out the religious map mode. Oh, yes. We've got a uh, large area of Cathar heresy and Lollard up in Scotland. Lollard's down here, all over France as well. And. Germanic Pagans, still up in Sweden, okay. Anything else interesting religion-wise going on? Not so much that I can see. Poland is Orthodox, which is somewhat unusual. Or unorthodox, one might say. Right, our... Trade posts have finished upgrading. You have been present presented with an opportunity to let everyone be reminded of your rulership. If you wish to mint new coins for your realm, there is a master of the craft that you can hire. Not only will the mintage be exquisite, it will be adorned with a glorious portrait of you. So we can mint the coins for glory, lose 100 gold, gain prestige. We can gain gold and prestige. Definitely become greedy. Um which would be kind of bad. Actually, extra tax modifier is probably pretty good for the cost of one diplomacy. We're already deceitful. All right, let's do it. We did become greedy. Turning into uh, quite an unpleasant character with all of these negative or unlikable character traits. Ever since your pursuit of wealth began and you started keeping a close eye on both income and expenses, your coffers seem to be filled to the brim more often than not, so we gain a stewardship out of that. Good. Still hasn't increased our domain size, of course. Let's see, I guess we should probably try to increase centralization now that I think about it. Everyone is undecided, so we'll probably have to buy favors get that passed. That probably would be worth doing, actually. Is there any of these that we'd prefer to pass instead? Probably not. Okay, 80 gold. Early reasonable. 200, but she won't even agree. She's already returning a favor to Grandmare Art. Okay. So I wonder what happens if we call in our favor, or we probably just can't do it while he's currently returning a favor. Maybe we'll just hold off on doing this for the moment. We've already bought a favor from our advisor, but we can just hold on to that for the time being. 
Okay, so our truce is over. Let's go ahead and declare war. I think we'll take Waterfords. Council doesn't agree. Okay. Everyone's siding with Art. He disagrees because he's a malcontent. Well, he does hate us for a lot of understandable reasons. Alright, so... I might just try calling in this favor and see what happens, whether she switches over to our side or whether it just means she decides however she would have decided if no favors were called in. Um, ah, we actually just can't call in council support because she's already influenced by a favor. That's fine. Okay. Hmm. So I guess we could remove art from the council. I think the people returning favors to him would still vote the way they're voting, though. And he is still the best person for the job. I never did move him somewhere else, though, like I said I was going to. Alright, we'll, we'll remove him from the council, we'll see what happens. It doesn't matter that we're going to annoy him, because he's already as annoyed as he can get. I guess we'll have you try to improve dipl diplomatic relations with Oriel. That doesn't really seem like it's worth it, though. Seems unlikely to happen. Ulster is also pretty unhappy and probably more likely to have a useful effect there. So let's see about the war declaration now. So everyone is still returning favor to the Grand Mayor. Okay, our nephew finally had a daughter. A slow daughter. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Good try, at least. So I guess we just have to wait for favors to expire. Unless we want to do a major restructuring of the council and fire the people who are returning the favors as well. Meanwhile, our daughter needs an education. She's haughty, playful, conscientious. Uh, intrigue would be okay. Conscientious uh, is good for stewardship, but haughty is bad. I guess we're going for intrigue then. And we collected another, another, uh, another tithe. I guess we'll go for um, another round of trade post upgrades. Uh, more expensive up here, okay. I guess it's based on the opinion of the liege of the county where the trade post is. Much like the price of building a trade post in the first place. And I guess we'll upgrade the merchant ports as well. And I think we can go down a bit lower on our treasury at the moment. It seems like Grand Mayor Art is not contesting the election quite as much lately. Yeah, we're still about 500 ahead. How's our plot going? 125%? Anyone else want to help out? Nope. Arranged marriage from the Queen of Scotland. Uh, oh, are these the... Were these not already betrothed? I thought I had something arranged over there. Or maybe I was looking to arrange something and she wasn't interested, but uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take this.
yeah, we were when England attacked us. I tried to get an alliance with Scotland, and Queen Saev was not having any of it. I guess she changed her mind. Ooh, things are happening. First, we overhear one of our courtiers complaining about how, as of late, his feces has turned strange colors like green. And again, this courtier is known for being a complete pig, so who knows what sort of foods cause this amusing circumstance. That's what you get for eating too much food. This is our wife! Okay, so not just a random courtier. Uh, <laughs> so, she is ha unhappy because we shamed her by uh, judging her on the color of her feces? I guess that's understandable. Why would we do that? But also, a crusade for Jerusalem. His Holiness Pope Honorius II has been swayed by the cries for help from the Christian population of the Kingdom of Jerusalem. He urges all able-bodied men of Europe to take up arms against the evil Caliph Abdul Wahad in order to secure Jerusalem from the clutches of the Mohammedan infidels. God will grant the pilgrims remission of sins in heaven. Deus Volt. Well, I guess this will give us something to do while we are waiting for our plots and favors on the council to expire so we can engage in our war down Atara, we can head off to Jerusalem and probably not win the crusade, but at least have a good time. It's going to have to wait for the next episode, though, because we're just about out of time for this one. So thanks for watching and join me again then.